Only 2,110 pounds, 2,110 pounds only. Little 14 foot box, basic sportsman classic. Absolute simple series starter camper coming down on trade here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Folks were big time Halid RV fans. When it came time to update and upgrade, we knew the place to go. Which is obviously us here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. <laughs> now, in order to achieve this combination of size, weight, price, and towability by small vehicles, you had to get a little creative, and you have to understand that you can't have everything quite in this size, you know? Well, the front dinette converts down into your main sleeping space, but that's, it doesn't really bother me, because if you want to just leave it that way, you can. You could leave that folded down all the time. You could put a different mattress over top of that. You don't have to leave the existing dinette cushions. You can get a free floating table and use this bench over here like your dining arrangement. And you can just enjoy a shorter, lighter, lower dollar camper. Or if you do want that extra daytime living space, you just put the bed away, if you will, during the day. And you can flip from this sleeping arrangement to the seating arrangement we're about to see right about meow. And that's what's kind of cool about this camper. You get everything in a bigger camper. You might have to play with the bed a little bit, but you get everything in a bigger camper, but at a smaller light, you know, smaller length, lighter weight, and easier price tag because there's just physically less of it. This is very similar to a 195 R. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's similar to a 195 RB J flight, but this is uh, effectively the KZ version of a J Flight 14 RB that we would have, or 145 rather, here at Halid RV. We tend to carry the same floor plan. I like this because it is legit minivan towable. If you have like uh, a small SUV or minivan that's rated for 3,000 pounds towing, this is one of the few things without, like, not, not including a, a, a tent camper, like a pop up that you can legit handle, you know, very safely. Obviously, you want proper hitching and brake controls and all that, but we do all that for you here at Halid RV. We can do all that. We have ventless, carpetless flooring. And, ladies and gentlemen, suckers clean. This thing is clean. Now, neat thing here. You saw how the front can flip down into a uh, sleeper space. But this whole bench, if you kick off those, uh, you know, backrest pads, frankly, guys, that is an excellent, really big adult sleeper. So if you're using this for something like hunting camp, you can have one buddy sleeping that way. You can have another buddy sleeping that way. You can make it work. Now you've got awesome window coverage in here too and awesome cross breezes. You also have that front viewing window with a weather shield that's just simply flipped down currently. So it gives you, like I said, some excellent visibility. Now this thing is built with an ultra price point in mind. That's what this RV represents to... If you're not familiar with this brand, the best way I can describe it is this is sort of like the Saturn of campers. It just, you know, it's built with a budget in mind. And that means that, I'm not saying it's bad because of it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's, uh, you know, effective in that regard. But it, it's certainly not the, the highest class bell at the ball. But the fact is, guys, if you take care of it, if you're more of just a casual camper, you're not an everyday weekend warrior, it's fine. It gets the job done. By the way, the furnace is under this bench, which is not a typical location for the furnace on a floor plane like this, but it works. I like how it's centralized, actually. It makes a lot of sense. Back here, this is a monster chunk of storage space. This is like one of the best parts of this whole camper. Now, that's a hanging rack instead of a hanging rod, which is actually kind of my preference because those things will tend to keep, uh, you know, clothes hangers in the correct location so they don't tend to slide around. Simple, but, uh, you know, effective bathroom. And everybody knows that water and electricity work very well together. <laughs> Zippity zap. But, the, uh, the you know, this is just a good storage location for that while you're traveling. What I do like here is that you have a separate shower and toilet. Now, again, basic camper. Effective in what it's supposed to do. We have a vent above the shower as opposed to a skylight and a vent. But it works. It's Is it, again, the biggest, flashiest, fanciest thing? No, but that's not what this camper is about. This is about simple, bare-bones basics, and it gets the job done. And it's well-kept. You're not really inheriting someone else's oopses. Now, this whole week, it has been one windy son of a gun, and I'm doing the best I can to prevent it from affecting the camera. But if a little bit of it gets through, I do apologize. So this little thing 
Uh, it has a reduced interior height. It's just tall enough that you can still walk around in it. That's fine. It is a seven wide camper. That's gonna save it a lot of weight right there. We mentioned that front window, how it has that weather shield on it. The previous owner also swapped off the original tongue jack for power jack, and you can see that they put a, a vent cover over that bathroom vent as well. Pardon my hand again, trying to shield the camera. I do like that it does have a uh, galvanized wheel well for uh, you know blowout guard. That's a nice touch I wouldn't have expected because this is again built with a price point but that's a good function feature that is included here. Now this does have what I uh, I've put a video out referring to things as a beer can roof. This is one of those campers. I'm not the type of guy that points something out one time when it's convenient to me and then doesn't point it out when it's not. I call a spade a spade and a duck a duck. Uh, the idea behind it is reduced upkeep but you also have to be very careful if you are going to get up there and do some work. You're gonna to have to put like some decking across the top of that tin skin roof to make sure that you're not overloading anything. But this thing is late model, very, very nicely kept. Holy wind, Batman, sorry guys. Um, that's manual awning, by the way, but it's, you know, they, they put the biggest awning on this thing they possibly could. The tires look great. No irregular wear patterns. I mean, it's it's new enough. It could still qualify for same as new financing, potentially. You know, it's a cute little starter's camper. The only defect I have located on this, it looks like at some point they had installed a uh, larger folding entry door handle but this doorway was not structured to be able to accept that now they didn't just leave those holes kind of ripped out of it they did plug those up uh, and make sure that that wasn't going to be a potential leak point but it is something that you do deserve to know about once again I apologize I can't control the weather conditions but uh, we do have a nice one here for you guys whether it's windy or not the trailer is still pretty sharp, so give us a call. We do hitching pieces, parts, straights, finance, truck, and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.